Hello everyone, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a hot flash and wrinkles makeup video and we are going to be testing out and this I believe is not new but is reformulated. This is the e.l.f. BB cream. I got the color buff which may be too, too dark for me. Um, it only comes in like six colors. It only comes in two colors on the Ulta site, but I got it at Walmart and they, I think they had six, six shades there. So I'm not sure how many shades it actually comes in, but that's what I had a choice of. So I am going to use the TikTok method. And if you don't know what the TikTok method is, it is where you put your moisturizer on. I'm also going to be trying to use as many e.l.f. products as I have and drugstore products for the rest, I hope. That's what my plan is. So let's get started. I've already moisturized, so now I'm going to put a light coating of the e.l.f. powder. I have the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. But first I'm going to read you what it says um, on the Ulta site about this BB cream. It says that to prime, protect, moisturize, and perfect your skin with this multitasking e.l.f. cosmetics BB cream. Infused with key anti-aging ingredients like vitamin E, jojoba, aloe, and cucumber to hydrate and nourish the skin. The sm smoothing formula minimizes fine lines and provides a natural tint of color for seamless coverage. This is vegan and cruelty free. So let's get started now. Because that's everything it says. Um, it's six dollars too, so you can't beat the price. So now we're going to go in and put a light dusting of the Elf powder. This is the what did I say it was? Finishing powder, and it is in translucent. This is what it looks like. I have tried this before, and I didn't like it nearly as much as the Bye Bye Pores, but I thought we'd give it another try here since we're um, kind of doing elf stuff. And I'm hoping that this being the TikTok method, I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be called. It's probably somebody's method, but that's all I know it is. So that's what I'm going to call it. And I'm going to put, I'm not going to be putting, I am going to be using my Morphe spray because I didn't even think about it, but I know I don't have any elf setting spray. Okay, next we're going to spray. That's the next part of the TikTok thing. Is to spray it and then make sure it's completely dry. And then we're going to go in with primer. And I have two primers from e.l.f. I have this watermelon primer, which I'm going to use. And then I have the poreless putty primer. So I'm going to use this first. So I'm going to use a little bit of the putty primer on my T-zone, just on my nose and right here, maybe a little here, a little down here. Just to fill in those pores, maybe some wrinkles. And now I'm going to use the this primer, and it's also e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop. I think this is still available. I'm not sure. Hopefully it is. And I'm just going to use that on the rest of my face. And this smells like watermelon, so if you don't like flavors, this is probably not for you. I like it. It smells like a watermelon jo Jolly Rancher. And it works a lot like the... Um, What is that milk makeup gripping primer? We're gonna go in with the BB cream, the e.l.f. BB cream. And like I said, I got mine in buff. I think that was the lightest color they had at Walmart. And I'm just going to dot this on. If 
All right, well, we're gonna go in with, let's use an e.l.f. brush. I used to use these all the time. Till I got some that I like a little better, but I always liked these, so. They didn't get bad. I just got more. Okay, how's the coverage? Coverage is thin. I noticed that that powder that I was going to use to, that I am going to use, had a white cast to it. So make sure you blend it out. Plus, you can get your foundation a little bit darker because you know that that's going to lighten it up. Yeah, coverage is barely there. It's a little bit of coverage. It's definitely light coverage, though. So, if you don't need a lot of coverage, this might be good. I actually need a little more coverage, so I'm going to try and build it up. I don't have a lot of faith in it building, but it's worth a shot, right? Let's see, do I need it? I need it on that thing I made. It's very glowy, but that's because it's a BB cream. But it did seem to build up a little bit. Hopefully it won't break up. That's my problem I have with BB creams. Usually by the end of the day, they've all broken up and got cakey. But we're just going to pretend that we know this one's not going to. And we shall see. Now there's no way I would not powder this because it is a BB cream. And as far as I'm concerned, it would definitely sink into lines if I didn't set it with powder. So, first we're gonna try, I also have the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer in Fair Warm, which I also believe was the lightest color they had at Walmart. So, it should be good. It's got a giant doe foot on it, so. We're going to start with just a little and see how that spreads as to whether we need more. I've heard some good things about this hydrating one from Elf. I really didn't care for the camo concealer on my skin, but a lot of people loved it. I'm just really, really liking the Pat McGrath. And I don't remember that I heard anything great about it, but it certainly is working for me. Kind of liquidy. Moves around a little more than what I'm used to. But it blended out nicely. It doesn't have super high coverage though. But I'm hoping that when I powder it, that will take care of it. So let's do that. 
Let's go into the powder. I always use my sponge when I powder my under eyes and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and get a little bit more of the moisture out of it. And then I got powder. Let's see if we can get it to work even close to as well as the Five Eye Pores. It's not bad. I mean, I don't think it's getting rid of the wrinkles like the Bye Bye Pores does. But there's quite a bit of a price difference, too. And it's definitely not bad. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the brush I used in the first place for this. And just spread it out and set the rest of my face. All right, it looks pretty good. Better than I expected from e.l.f. And I don't know why, because I love a lot of e.l.f. products. I've never found a foundation of theirs, though, that I really, really like. So maybe this BB cream is the ticket. So I like the, found, uh, the concealer. Okay, guys, I'm going to go off camera, finish my makeup, and I will come back and show it to you and tell you what I used. So I'll be back. Okay guys, I am back and I'm going to show you, this is the look of the day, and I'm going to show you what I used. And I'm not going to show you an order because they're all mixed up. Anyways, for bronzer, I used the Butter Bronzer from Physician Formula. I tried to stick basically to lower cost drugstore, but I did, I think the only thing I used that wasn't drugstore was this Sigma Cheek Palette, the blush. And, and all I used was the blush, and I used this blush right here. So, but everything I used, I will list below. So, I used that. I used this jelly highlighter from Wet n Wild, which is totally dried up. It's not a jelly anymore, but I just use a brush or my finger, and it just it's it's just like a powder. Actually, it's more like a pressed powder now, but it's still really pretty. So, I'm still using it. And that's what I use today. For my lips, I use this Pillow Top from Physicians Formula. And this is the glowing lip gloss from, I think it's L'Oreal. Yes, from L'Oreal. And this one is called, I don't know what this one is called. Where's my glasses? There they are. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Tropic like it's hot. So those are the lip. That's what I used on my lips. I just, this is kind of a, I just colored them all in with this first. And then put just a little bit of this on top for some glow. I used the Bambi. Oh, I was going to put another coat on and I forgot to. Anyways, the Bambi Eyes Mascara from L'Oreal. And then I used for my eyeliner to push line with, I used this Revlon Color Stay in the color brown. And then I used on the bottom, on the outer corner of the bottom, I used this e.l.f. And I've had this forever. I have no idea if it's still available, but it's just, it's such a pretty blue. And it's a cream. And it still was creamy, which I was amazed because it's pretty old. Then I used for the rest of my eyeshadow, I used the cookies, uh, cream and sugar palette from e.l.f. And then I think everything else you guys saw me use because I used the Morphe, the e.l.f. powder, the e.l.f. putty. Yeah, everything else I already showed you as I did it. So that is it. And I will have everything I used listed below. So I will come back at the end of the day. Oh, let me tell you what I think about this so far. It looks good. Yep, it's not sinking into lines. But I will come back at the end of the day and let you know if it started to break up or anything because that's what happens usually with me with um, BB creams. But it doesn't seem like it's going to. It looks really nice. So I will be back at the end of the day to let you know how it did. Okay, everybody, I am back. It is the end of the day, and I am here to give you my final opinion on this 
this is the elf bb cream it didn't like cover my pores and my wrinkles as good it's not sinking into the wrinkles though at all i think maybe it was the powder you know because i like the it cosmetics powder so much and so i think it looks good though it really does look good it's just i'm spoiled by the it cosmetics bye bye pores powder but this looks really good it really does i want to try it with that powder instead of using the elf powder i'm giving it a thumbs up for sure i think that it's a great i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave follow me on twitter facebook and instagram leave me some questions on instagram or twitter so that we can do a q a uh, i love you guys i appreciate you guys so much Thank you for watching my videos, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah!